in a, as a young girl in our family, as a young girl, we had some uncles that will always come around when food is ready. And each time when food was ready, when they are coming, we say, ah, they are coming to shorten our ration. So today, with the changes, with the technology has changed, that idea, that mindset that we had when we were young is what they call scarcity mindset. You think that if this one succeeds, that means you lessen my own success. You think that somebody is coming to your home is going because you come and eat and lessen your, shorten your ration. That's what we call scarcity mindset. But today, with the technology, with the digital landscape evolving, the idea is for people to have an abundance mindset. There's everything for everyone. Are we together? Yes. There's everything for everyone. The internet is there. The information is for everybody. So people with, with abundance mindset, there are people who are ready to grow themselves. There are people who they complete and they don't compete. There are people who are ready to learn. There are people with positive minds. There are people who know, who know that if I succeed today, my sister too or my brother, I should help my sister or my brother to succeed. Abundance mindset. That is when you take your given talent, what God has given you, and you put into use. That's what we call the growing mindset. So what God has given you is your given worth. And what you do with that, with what God has given you, is your growing worth. So when you take your given worth and your growing worth and put them together, you have a, an amazing self-worth. And until you have an abundance, you create, you cultivate an abundance mindset. You cannot. So, as the young girls here today, the first thing, create, have an abundance mindset. Scarcity mindsets are for people who are always complaining, negative people, blaming people. So, with the digital uh, evolution. Technology is for all of us. So there is for everybody. Whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, whether you are from um, uh, Bukitunja, whether you are from which ethnic group, which, which, ethnic group, which culture, whether you are in Dubai, you are in the US, you are, the, the, the internet is open for all of us. And all that we need is to cultivate the culture of continuous improvement. We have to be relevant. And I think that is why we are here today to let the young girls know that it is about developing ourselves, helping people to develop their potentials. And that is what we'll be trying to learn this morning and the young girl at the end of the day, you have to learn about the digital leadership style. You have to learn about the virtual leadership style. You have to learn about the inclusive leadership style. And you have to learn about the agile leadership style. And all these new leadership styles, we will try to see who are these leaders. And you must end up being an inspirational leader. An inspirational leader is somebody who is able to identify your uh, the, uh, the potentials and the leadership qualities in other people to grow themselves. I think that's just a bit of what is going to happen here. And, and I pray that 
at the end, while living from this seminar, you must have a one word. We call it the one word strategy. You must have a one word that will lead you from today till the next summit.